diviners mad that turn wise men backward and make their knowledge foolish. Ah, brethren, that is the one we have come to meet with this morning. Ah, hey, Kaponda Thila Halaya. Ah, Lepondo Hande Kasila. Ah, brethren, this is the Almighty God introducing Himself to you this morning. Ah, maybe you are here and you are losing faith. Maybe you are here and you are fainting. Ah, God is saying, Ah, He is thy Redeemer. Ah, I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you. Ah, for being my redeemer. Ah, he is the one that have redeemed us from the mouth of the wicked. Go ahead and bless his name for redeeming you. Redeeming your loved ones. On a daily basis, the almighty God redeems us. On a daily basis. Ah, ah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ah, for being my redeemer. Ah, zalonto Ah, kako palima vinde rema handa kosi la ya. Daddy, thank you for redeeming us, oh God. Thank you for redeeming us, redeeming our loved ones. We give you all the glory. Mando sand arama handa ya. Rekandos inder mahando kosi la. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want us to pray with understanding this morning. Brethren, the word redeemer means that something eh, took you eh, or something was holding you bow and someone came and gave something in exchange for you. Meaning that he came and he exchanged you ah, from the one he came he took you from the one that was holding you back. I decree in the name that is above every other name. Ah, the almighty God will not allow us going to captivity again. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, all the days of our lives will remain redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that do we say thank you. Ah, ah, he went further to say, and he that formed thee from the womb. Ah, brethren, the almighty God created us for his pleasure. And God is reminding someone this morning ah, ah, that he is not unaware of the fact that he is the one that formed all. Ah, he formed you. And the one that formed you formed you for a purpose. Ah, I want you to cry to God and say Father, the purpose for which you formed me ah, let it begin to manifest. Cry to the almighty God. Ah, you were created for a purpose. Ah, God formed you for a purpose. Ah, let that purpose begin to manifest. Run to Lord, the purpose for which you formed me, even from my mother's womb, ah, let it begin to manifest. Ah, Remonda Hande Ah, Ah, let my purpose begin to find expression. Ah, let our purpose begin to find expression. Reka Lord, let our purpose begin to find expression. Rando Skandar Mahando Koshala. Robo Kondo Zinder Mahando Koshila. Ayalo Shanda in their Mahando Koskin. Ah, that we say thank you. Ah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I decree once again in the name that is above every other ear. The purpose for which God formed you from the womb. Ah, it must manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, it does not matter powers or anything that can go up against your purpose in life. I decree it must manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth for the heavens alone. That spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. 
God is trying to let you know that he can do all things. Ah, we have come before the one that can do all things. Ah, the Bible says that he maketh all things. Meaning that there is nothing you need that God cannot make for you. Ah, he said that I stretch forth the heavens alone. Brethren, the one that stretched forth the heaven, when you step out, you cannot even be able to gaze the whole heaven. You are able to see just a part. But the almighty God is saying that he himself stretched for the heavens alone. Ah, he spread it abroad the earth by himself. That is how great our God is. Ah, I want you to cry to him. I don't know that thing you want him to make in your life. Ah, I don't know that desire you have. But he may get all things by himself. I want you to cry to him and say, Father, ah, concerning this area of my life, ah, that he let your work of creation manifest again. Ah, do a new thing. Create a new thing. Ah, kakanto ba 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 ba. Ah, man to Ah, that the concerning every area of our lives, God, let your work of creation manifest. Ah, that the anything that needs to be created for us, ah, for our joy to be full. Ah, Lord, let them manifest. Man, those can't remind us. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed that frustrated the tokens of liars. Brethren, I don't know what they have said concerning you, but hear the word of the Lord this morning. Whatsoever God has not said concerning you, that anyone is saying is a lie. Whatsoever God have not written concerning you, that anyone have written, it is a lie. And the word of God says that he frustrated the tokens of liars. Ah, lift up your voice and cry to God and say, Father, ah, every lie of the enemy over my life over my family our Lord frustrate them let them not stand let them not come to pass brethren cry to God whatsoever God have not spoken concerning your children concerning that child of yours ah the enemy has no right to say it ah whatsoever the enemy is saying concerning you is a lie let them be frustrated let them not stand cry to the almighty God father frustrate the tokens of liars over my life man those katalapa rosine rima kundasila frustrate marobosente kete kapa for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I want you to see it from another dimension Brethren, when a man decides to speak or to release causes against another man or against you, those are lies. Because that is not what the intention of God for you. Ah, and the Bible says that he will frustrate it. Meaning that it does not matter how many times ah, they open their mouth to release causes, to enchant consigning you, God will frustrate it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, they will speak but it will not stand. It will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. And it went further to say, and make it diviners mad. Brother, who are diviners? Those that go to places because of you. Why? They don't want to see your progress. 
those that go to spiritualists, uh, uh, to divine consigning you, those that want to see your star, they want to know your future so that they can deal with you. Uh, these are diviners. Both the ones going to inquire and the one performing the divination, uh, the Almighty God will make them mad. Cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, uh, Father, anyone that goes to divine against me from today henceforth oh father strike them with madness ah let them not come back home ah let them not get their home ah before they perform their enterprises lord make them mad according to your word man hey rando shall i Bakokos in the Ramanda Hata Ah Reta Rekapala Mandozile Pandozila Thank you everlasting Father for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Brethren every evil altar raised against you Ah, you will cry against them. Brother, you can cry against an altar. And God will destroy that altar. Tonight, this morning, we'll be crying against every evil altar. Raised against us and our loved ones. Raised against our families. Raised against the church of God. Ah, let the almighty God consume them. Ah, cry to the almighty God. Father, every evil altar. Altar of evil divinations. Against my life, against my my destiny against my ministry against my family against my career against my academy against my business father let your fire consume them ah man to salama hey reko palada ah repa loko sila ah that the doors raising evil altars against her ah let them go mad man to salama Ah, le kapofi la hala ya. Eh, marondo in the hala ya. Ah, that they let them go mad until they come to confess. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father. For in Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Ah, I stand this morning as the representative of God. And I decree eh, that from now henceforth, any man, any woman, ah, that will raise an evil altar against you, ah, that as they are in the process of raising that evil altar, ah, the Almighty God will make them mad, ah, and until they come to you to confess, ah, they will remember in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that they will say thank you. Ah, that your word says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Ah, Lord, your word says that we are the apple of your eyes. Ah, therefore, Lord, anyone that makes an attempt, ah, Lord, against us, against our Lord, God, ah, that you arise and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, every evil conclusion ah, every evil collusion ah, from the pit of hell I guess ah, ah, that they frustrate them all in the mighty name of Jesus ah, that they from now has fought ah, that they let the wicked know that you are on our side ah, makundo file and I ah, let your anointing of touch not come upon us Ah, that no man has fought. I ah, will be able to do us wrong in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, the Most High God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's lift up our hands. Blessed be the man as we take our confession. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the man. Sorry, blessed be the name of the Lord and he is worthy to be praised and adored. I declare and I confess consigning me and my household 
that the almighty God shall forever remain the Lord of our lives. The Lord that created and made all things shall never deny me any good thing of life by by his grace he shall deliver all my heart desires and the Lord who shall always meet me at the point of my need I declare and I confess that the Lord shall constantly frustrate every token of liars over my life and all diviners shall be made mad for my sake no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper no arrow of the wicked shall be able to penetrate me the lord shall shield me with his presence and fire all the days of my life i declare that my destiny must manifest the glory of god my life shall be bundle of testimonies therefore the whole world shall hear my testimony on a daily basis no man shall be able to ignore the glory and favor of god upon my life i possess spirit and power for greater accomplishment for greater accomplishment and all my enemies shall come behind me at all times i shall be i shall always be ahead of them in the mighty name of jesus i will finish well i will finish strong my ending shall be far better than my beginning i will not go to hell i will reign in eternity i will love the lord and i will serve the lord all the days of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we go ahead and begin to bless in the Holy Spirit? Mandos kender mahandosh and arababa are andosh akapala handosh resilep ando kondo mahandaya ayakanto salandosh inder mahandos kila rebo bo 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 ba kondo fiandosh ando rahandaya manda kapala handos inder mahando kila ya ah that they will say thank you ah lord glory be to your holy name for in jesus mighty name we have prayed i join my faith with your faith and i declare that every word the almighty god have heard you speak this morning ah that he will make haste to answer you in the mighty name of jesus Ah, every contrary word that the enemies have spoken, uh, every contrary word that the enemies will speak, uh, none will stand, none will come to pass. Ah, consigning you, consigning your love to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, the Most High God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And amen. Let's put our hands together as we celebrate Jesus this morning, as we celebrate our Maker this morning. Ah, glory be to His holy name. God bless you. Let's be seated in His presence. We are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. We give glory to the Almighty God for this privilege to be with us this morning. And I pray that the Almighty God will visit us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate my fellow and the Lord for this privilege once again and I pray that the good hand of the Lord upon him will be forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate you for coming that you deferred the rain to come this morning. It means that God has something special for you. Uh, you will not go without it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this day will not end without the manifestation of that special thing in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. And amen. Praise the Lord. This morning, just a continuation of where we stopped yesterday. We talk of the power of a blessing. The power of a blessing. And, you know, we're able to read various scriptures. We read Genesis chapter 1, verse 28 to 30, where God blessed them. 
and you know he commanded them to multiply be fruitful replenish the earth and have dominion praise the lord so this morning because of our time we want to look at the scope of the blessings that god released upon his children the scope of this blessing and i pray uh, that not only will you hear the scope of this blessing this morning uh, you will go with it i uh, uh, they will begin to manifest in your own life in the mighty name of jesus praise the lord genesis chapter 1 verse 28 to 30 genesis chapter 1 and god bless them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion. Praise the Lord. God was mindful of what he was saying. God was mindful. Like I told us yesterday that God is intentional. He says what he means and he means what he says praise the lord and that was why when he blessed man the bible said and god blessed them and god said unto them be free he went further and i was able to establish yesterday that god could have just stopped that and god blessed them but he went further to explain the scope of the blessing because a blessing has limits praise the lord and god was able to draw the limit of his blessing and he told them that this particular blessing ah uh, you'll be fruitful ah uh, that in this particular blessing ah uh, you have room to multiply ah uh, in this particular blessing you can replenish the earth in this particular blessing ah uh, you can subdue the earth in this particular blessing you will have dominion that is scope praise the lord so this morning we'll be looking at the scope and we'll be praying because they must manifest in our lives in the mighty name of jesus number one he told them be fruitful what does it mean to be fruitful to be fruitful you know why i want to explain this before we pray so that you understand what god is saying concerning this matter and you are able to look at your life if it's not here when we start praying so that you can pray like no other praise the lord to be fruitful means to be producing good results to be producing what good results so the question is, is your life bringing forth good results? If your life is not bringing forth good results, then fruitfulness, you are not yet manifesting it. But you must manifest it today in the mighty name of Jesus. It means being beneficial, being profitable. Is your life profitable? Is the life you are living now is it profitable? If it's profitable, then you are manifesting fruitfulness. Praise the Lord. Because man can be blessed by your life. Man can come and they will tap benefit. Why? Because your life is full of fruit. Even heaven will look at you and see you. Ah, that the fruit of the spirit is not lacking in you. That means you are fruitful. I want us to be upstanding. Lando scandal aba. Rebo zinder mahando kon ahalaya. Ah, lab ando zindaya. It also means abounding in fruit. <laughs> abounding continually. Fruit. You are yielding fruit. Cry to the Almighty God. I don't know the nature of your life at this moment. Are you being fruitful in all ramification? If not, cry to God. Even if you are being fruitful, there are degrees of fruit. Ah, your fruitfulness can increase to the next degree. Cry to God and say, My father, ah, my father, 
Ah, you commanded your blessings upon me, and you commanded me to be fruitful. Ah, Lord, let there be manifestation of fruitfulness in my life. Ah, let there be manifestation of fruitfulness in all I do. Begin to cry to the Almighty God. Ah, brethren, you may be comfortable where you are, but that may not be where God wants you to be. Cry to the Almighty God. Baba, command the manifestation of your fruitfulness upon my life and destiny. Command, O oh God. Ah, rebo shala. Command, O oh God. Are you praying? La dos ken ere mahando koshita ya. Ah, le kapanto si de hala ya. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I decree in the name that is above every other name uh, that from now henceforth uh, you will begin to bear fruit abundantly uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, uh, uh, the Almighty God Himself will look at you and He will be happy because you are manifesting uh, what He wants you to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me see it quickly. God bless you. Number two, multiply. To multiply means to make many or manifold. To increase in number, in quantity. Praise the Lord. And the question is, are you increasing? Increase can be in arithmetic progression. It can also be in geometric meaning that there are degrees of increase a man can experience it can also be in exponential exponential meaning the degree is higher than that of bare geometric which is multiplication i want you to cry to the almighty god brethren when you receive word you cannot be compared with the one that is receiving two praise the lord because two is greater than one and the word of god says that god has commanded us ah by way of blessing to multiply meaning that anything you have that is good ah has the grace to multiply. You are going to cry to God and say, Father, let your grace of multiplication come upon everything concerning me. Ah, my career, ah, Lord, my business, let your grace of multiplication by finances, let your grace of multiplication come upon her. Cry to the Almighty God. Brethren, you can move from one to two. Ah, God can promote you from where you are, even ah, to where you least expect to be man let your grace of multiplication be released upon us in the mighty name of Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Ah, the almighty God himself will multiply you. Ah, the grace you need ah, to always go up and never come down. He will give to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's be seated. Lastly, okay, I'll just take two at a go so that we can be on our way. Number three, it says replenish the earth. To replenish means to make full or complete again meaning that any blessing that leaves your life God have made a provision for another one to replace it even greater blessings meaning that your life is not supposed to be empty your life is meant to be a blessing you are meant to be a channel meaning that as blessing is flowing through you to others blessing is being replenished that is the plan of God for you and I. I want you to stand up on your feet and cry to God and say, Father, ah, Father, ah, the grace never to lack supply. Ah, let it come upon me. Ah, the grace never to lack supply. Cry to the Almighty God. Brother, replenishment means that there will be constant supply. Constant supply of the goodness of God, of his mercy of his provision let there 
they have a constant supply. Man does gain the remahanda. Lord, let there be constant supply. Thank you, everlasting Father. Man does in the remahanda. Lastly, as we are standing, please, because of our time, have dominion over everything. God wants us to have what? Dominion. Praise the Lord. Ah, he wants us to have dominion. And the Bible says, have dominion. Ah, having dominion means that you have the right to govern. You have controlling authority. Meaning that when you command a thing to go, it is supposed to go. When you command a thing to come, it's supposed to come. That is dominion. Uh, it means that men will not sit upon you. Uh, it means that uh, you will not be in captivity. Why? You have dominion. It means that God has given you a key. Uh, when you open, it will be open. When you shout, it will be shot. That is dominion. Cry to the Almighty God and say, My Father, my God, ah, give me dominion. Ah, let your commanded blessing, ah, dominion, begin to manifest in my life. Robo Satanaba, Rados Kalaya, Mando Zali Palahataya. Lord, let my life begin to manifest your dominion. Ah, la kalima filaya in all ramification, Lord, in all ramification. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Ah, maybe you are here this morning. You have prayed this prayer point, but you have not yet made peace with God, meaning that you are not yet his own. You have an opportunity because God will always hear the prayer of the unrighteous when he prays for repentance. Praise the Lord. And he, if he can show you mercy, it means that every prayer you have prayed this morning, you will see the manifestation. And if you are such a person, I want you to raise up your hand and I'll pray with you. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to be restored. You have backslided. This is your opportunity. We are talking about blessings. God can only give his own. The blessings. The blessings that they have asked for. And if there is none, let's stretch out our hands to the altar as I pray for us. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, I decree. Ah. That because it is not man that has commanded his blessings upon us, but the Almighty God, from now henceforth, any power of resistance that have not allowed our fruitfulness to manifest, that have not allowed us to multiply, that have not allowed us to replenish the earth, that have not allowed us to subdue the earth. That have not allowed us to have dominion. Ah, Father, uproot them violently. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that if from no has for Ah, by your power. Ah, let our life begin to command fruitfulness. Ah, let multiplication be manifested in our lives. Ah, let our lives begin to receive a divine supply in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that in the authority you have given unto us, ah, let it begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let power change us. Ah, let us begin to rule over the those ruling of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that they make us stronger than all our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that they on a daily basis, ah, by daily basis, ah, that they make us stronger and stronger. Ah, by daily basis, ah, make our enemies weaker and weaker. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. 
Daddy, I declare that today is a blessed day. I declare that this weekend is a good one. Ah, Daddy, let your heavens be open over our day. Let your heavens be open over our weekend. Ah, Baba, send your shower. Ah, of blessing into this day. In the mighty name of Shiva. Ah, Daddy, because you have the power to command that it is done. I therefore ask, oh God, Baba, every evil associated with today, this weekend, ah, Baba, let it be far away from all. Ah, let it be far away from our loved one. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Daddy, this weekend, Baba, surprise us with your goodness. Ah, flavor this weekend for us with your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's lift up our offering quickly, Father, in the name that is above every other name. Ah, Daddy, we present our offering before you. Ah, Daddy, we have come to give to you. Daddy, we therefore ask, oh God, Lord, that you acknowledge our offering this morning. Ah, and that they in return, oh God, ah, embarrass us, Lord, with your blessings. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's give cheerfully, and the Almighty God will bless us. Praise the Lord. Let's not forget that tomorrow we'll be meeting by 4 30 for evangelism. Praise the Lord. And also on Sunday, we'll be having our three services. And Sunday service is a miracle service, right? Miracle service. So please come prepared, come expecting, and the Almighty God will meet you at the point of your need. Let's, share, let's, uh, let's say the grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.